rock steady at King of the Pit TV. Yo, it's over for Slam Cells because we're listening to Waking the Cadaver. Waking the Cadaver. <laughs> AKA WTC, AKA World Trade Center. People, I'm not listening to this record. Last time I heard Waking the Cadaver was when I was a teenager. Or I'm sure my age here, yeah. Sure, for all you young ones out there. And to be honest with you, if you're. If, if, if Waking the Cadaver is still bringing in young kids, um, I gotta give them props. I assume most of the people who come across this series of videos with me listening to this probably around the same age as me. I I I reckon that's the general market. But MySpace era, blood splattered satisfaction, chase through the forest or chase through the woods, perhaps it's called. Jeez, dun dun dun. This was on the same level of annotations of an autopsy. Did anybody ever listen to annotations of an autopsy? This man's still going. This man is still going, waking the cadaver. And I've not really followed them since I used to download music off of LimeWire. This band was ridiculous. This band was ridiculous back in the day. And um, I've got nothing more to say. I don't know where this came as far as their catalogue's concerned. Maybe this was their debut LP. Uh, it's going to be a brief one. We're sitting at 11 songs. We've got an intro on it. Um... We've got an interlude. We're generally looking at like 2 minutes 30 upwards a track. And we do have a revisit to two classics, the ones I referenced. We've got Chase Through the Woods by a something. We've got Blood Splattered Satisfaction. Type of Secretor, that, that rings a bell. I think I heard that back in the day as well. But this is gonna this is gonna bring it back to me. I'm doing this one for a bit of fun, people. Um, it is gonna be a first time listen, regardless of my past experiences, because the couple of songs on here I will have heard. This will be like re-recorded. Um, I'm looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to this. This is a bit of fun, as I said. This is a this is a blast from the past um, for me. Um, this is this is very self-indulgent, self-absorbed. But if you like waking the cadaver, leave a message down below. If you were around to listen to this intense music, I mean, essentially back in the day, I would still consider this deathcore music, even though it's sort of like brutal death metal or, you know, whatever you would call it. Um, I don't know what else you could consider it. Slam to some extent, maybe. Um, this all just fit the MySpace scene kid criteria back in the day and it was absolutely lovely. Alright. Anybody ever listen to Broken Side either? We're gonna do intro and we're gonna go into track number two, Always Unprotected. Alright, let's jump in. Where are we at people? I got I got a couple of drinks with me tonight. It's the weekend. I'm gonna listen to another record after this. See what the Patreon's saying, what you want me to listen to, and we'll go from there, alright? SSD control on the shirt tonight. Thought I'd wear a bit of merchandise. Don't normally do it, but here we are. Because it's just been put up on streaming services. First time since ever. If you want to listen to some good hardcore punk, that's like one of the best records ever, in my opinion. <coughs> Oh, to me, this intro is unnecessary. Unless, who cares? Who cares? You're not setting atmosphere because we just want to hear some ridiculous vocals. We're only going to end up with an advertisement after this. Always unprotected coming up. Switch to Chrome to protect yourself from malware. Less worry. Ba, 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 ba. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm excited. I like this band back in the day. Just, just before I get into it, you know, I knew a couple of bands. I mean, I'm this. This is an American band. But where I was from, in Northern England, we had seen kid bands covering this band every once in a while. Everybody was tuning to Drop B tuning, playing deathcore music. 
And I don't know what tune in this. I assume this band was like an A, perhaps. Drop A. But I heard a couple of Blood Splattered Satisfaction covers back in my day. Tell you that. Here we go, come. I mean, generally speaking, it's a bit, you know, all over the place. But this this particular section, this noise, and uh, instrumentally speaking, it sounds like some extreme gore grind band. It sounds th 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 that snare makes me think of uh, Last Days of Humanity. Yo, if you know about Last Days of Humanity, let me know down below. I'd be shocked if you do on a Waking the Cadaver video. Here we go. That bass drop. That was a bass drop. We need to bring back bass drops in music. Outside of like overtly produced, um, like modern death core music, like down tempo music. We need more bass drops. I ain't heard a good bass drop since ever. No one's using bass drops no more. Ignorant. Ignorant cricket vocals, good blend, a good blend, a good blend. It reminds me a little bit of that um, Devourment record, Molesting the Decapitated, uh, when he went into that death metal vocal. Because we had that on the last track, Baby Killer. It's a nice um, change from the extremity, from the cricket vocals, from the Predator vocals. Well, we got Ad, uh, Graped, should I say, uh, Pillaged and Gutted coming up next, track number three. <laughs> 